Hi, Virgo. So you have, you have the Ace of Cups, okay? So you could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Pisces, okay? But the Ace of Cups here, you have a new beginning, a new relationship, okay? This could also indicate pregnancy, or celebrating you're being offered a new beginning you're being offered a new relationship or someone wants to be with you You have the Eight of Swords, and then you have the Two of Wands, okay? So, someone is in their head. They're overthinking everything. Um, so, okay, so I feel like you do, have a, you do have a major offer here, or you do have an offer of a relationship, um... And I feel like you're in your head about it. You're thinking about this offer that's coming towards you or you're thinking about this offer. Okay. Someone is also feeling trapped or restricted. Um, this could be someone around you that's making that's making you feel this way. Or it's like someone is very forceful, very aggressive coming towards you it's almost like they're trying to force you to make a decision they're trying to force you to make a choice could be an aries yeah someone could also feel stuck or trapped. But I feel like this is mentally. And it's like someone is realizing that they're not trapped. They're not stuck. That they can move forward. That you don't have to accept this offer just because it's being offered to you. Okay. Um, someone could have chose someone else thinking that the grass was greener on the other side, but now they're realizing that the grass was not greener on the other side. Okay, I'm definitely picking up an Aries. So the other person that they chose could be pregnant or they were pregnant. But then they decided not to go through with the pregnancy. Yeah, but I'm getting someone chose someone else. They chose like a karmic or they chose someone that had a lot of baggage instead of choosing the other person
All right, what is the Two of Wands? Two of Swords. Yeah, so choices, decisions. Someone has a choice to make. And it's like they're they're refusing to make this choice. They're refusing to decide. So there could be two people here. Someone does not know what they want. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. The strength card. The chariot. Yeah, they don't they don't know what they want. They can't make up their mind. They can't choose. But I know they feel stuck. This person definitely feels stuck. They feel tied to the person that they chose. This could be due to a pregnancy or this could be due to a spell, but I don't see anything about a spell. But I am seeing a candle, a can uh, um candle being dressed or a candle being used. We have Cancer here, Leo, Virgo. Someone is also going to receive their inheritance. Yeah, they're getting ready to receive their inheritance. I feel like a family member of yours, know, they know about this inheritance. So they're going to go ahead and offer you this inheritance. They're going to give this to you. But it's like they've been contemplating on this for a very long time. And so they're finally deciding to give it to you. Or to at least tell you about it. Someone is also going to be offered a lot of money or um, given a lot of money. Simply because they feel like you deserve it, Virgo. This could be a client. This could be a, a large donation or someone just wants to give you something. Okay. All right. What is the Ten of Pentacles? Someone is also in their head about their family or in their head about um, this unexpected financial windfall, this inheritance. You have the Knight of Wands. I do see travel here, a lot of traveling, or you will, you will start traveling sometime next week or someone had to make a decision. They had to make a choice about some kind of inheritance. Okay. So. They're going to decide to give you your money or your portion or everything that is yours, everything that belongs to you. But it's like they really don't want to give you, they really don't want to give this to you. But they know that it's wrong to hold on to this or something like that. Someone is also... Moving on from family or family members. Yeah, they're moving forward. They're not looking back. Okay. Some of you could be moving away from family or a family member because they're too controlling.
They try to control you. This could be your father. Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, and then you have Justice. So you have two Aces here, all new beginnings, a beginning in your career, beginning in love, okay? And I feel like this is something that you want or something that you've been praying for. Or this is just something that you're manifesting. I see a Libra or an Aquarius here. They have a plan or a plot to take something from you. Yeah, they feel like they're creative. They feel like this is going to work. I feel like your intuition is telling you this. That someone around you is a thief. They can't be trusted. All right, what is the page of cups? Ten of Swords, Nine of Wands. And I feel like you killed someone with kindness or you're going to kill someone with kindness. It's like they're coming towards you with negative energy or they're coming towards you with... um bad motives and you see through that you see through their intentions you see what they're trying to do and it's like you shut this person down with kindness or sensitivity love okay yeah you put an end to something you put an end to something or you will Yeah, because no matter what this person does or whatever they've been doing to you in the background, it's like you're remaining strong. You're not allowing what they did to you to ruin you as a person. They were hoping to ruin you as a person. To be just like them. But you're nothing like them. You're the opposite. Also, someone has been talking bad about you or gossiping, spreading rumors. Okay. And I feel like although they've been doing this behind the scenes or behind your back, could be a Pisces or a Gemini. Although they've been doing this. You still remain strong. Ten of Wands. Page of Swords. Yeah, you still remain strong. Because you have other things to do. You have other things to take care of. Yeah, and here comes this Seven of Swords again. Queen of Wands. Dreams. Seven of Cups.
Someone was trying to burden you. They were purposely doing this to you. Almost to see how much you can handle or how much you will decide to put up with. I feel like this is over. Whatever burdens or whatever stress they were trying to put onto you, that's over with. Yeah, and you're standing in your power, Queen of Wands. You're not allowing this person to do this to you anymore. You're also going to call someone out. You could be calling your father out on whatever he's doing, being controlling, trying to confuse you, trying to manipulate you, make you feel like there's something wrong with you. Okay. Something is also an illusion. Whatever energy they're trying to put onto you, it's an illusion or... It's like they're trying to put these burdens on you. They're trying to put this ten of wands on you, okay? But it's like you see through that. So you're going to just completely stop allowing this person to get to you. Or to keep manipulating the situation or to keep manipulating you. It's like someone wants you to keep carrying baggage or they want you to keep feeling burdened or overworked or something. Or like something that you're doing is not working, but it is working. Yeah, someone... Wants you to feel like you're crazy or you're going crazy. Okay. So you have the death card. You have the seven of cups. You're also going through a spiritual transformation. A new beginning. And in this new beginning, Virgo... Um, you have a lot of choices, a lot of opportunities. This could be hidden with the moon. This is something that you don't see coming or that you don't see. Yeah, they're trying to distract you or they distracted you. So that you won't look at your choices, look at your opportunities. They want you to feel like you're stuck or burdened or like you have to do something or something like that. And then you have the five of swords in reverse. Yeah, peaceful resolution, moving on. And I feel like, you know, you don't have any hard feelings towards this person. This is your father or a family member. You don't have any hard feelings towards this person. Or resentment. I feel like you're just going to move on with your life. Someone's father could be a Libra. Gemini or Aquarius or Scorpio. You two just don't see eye to eye. But that's okay. Someone has a hard time accepting... They have a hard time accepting you for who you are or something like that. And I don't feel like you're a bad person or there's anything wrong with you. They're just very stuck in their ways. They feel like things should be a certain way or that people should be a certain way. Okay, and then you have the Six of Swords, Six of Swords, Queen of Cups. 
and you're moving on, Virgo. You're moving on. I feel like you're choosing to move with love. You're choosing to move with kindness. Five of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. And although you may not feel loved by this person, you still love them. You still care for them. But you're deciding to remove yourself from the situation or you will within the next couple of weeks or a couple of days. All right, Virgo, so that is all for this message, okay?